All right, so I've got a lot of all of them done. It seems to be running just fine, right? It's running just fine. Um, come on. There we go. It's all running fine. There's no memory leaks, what have you. I did add a single function, which is this. To get resource pool, it takes in the simulation state, the type, and then re uh, goes through, iterates through the resource pools to find the one and return it through void star. It's an extern C function. So, um, I mean, I could probably add a C++ template, maybe, maybe later. Or otherwise, return a null pointer if it's not found. And I've gone through and done modifications to let that happen where possible, um, such as here. So I used to get like get res I used to have a local function which basically did the same thing. Uh, you know, get resource pool except like this worked off the resource pools themselves. Like you'd get get give the actual um, I don't know array of resource pool pointers and then you do the dynamic cast so that's been replaced with uh this new function instead which just takes in the simulation set and the struct type that i'm looking for which is a bit i mean i'm not going to say it's simpler it's basically like the the complications a little bit different but this is a bit more reusable across all the uh lines of binary lines i would say Rather than me having the like the code copied and pasted all over the place like this, so it's kind of more general purpose, I guess. Even if it's a bit less safe, if you're uh, not going to be doing casting or giving the wrong type, uh, struct type, structure type, ID. Um, so that's that. Let's get that in. Type defs. I'll probably maneuver around in a little bit but <clears throat> unfortunately I've got a bit of a different problem now I've got the simulation state lists where like I can't really iterate through this can I I mean what is this right why am I using this I don't I don't really know rather than just passing this through I mean I, I kind of I have a bit of an understanding like this is supposed to be something that was going to be C interface compatible and then I'd hide this but at this point I'd rather just get rid of this extra thing okay so that'll be next actually next I'm going to get rid of this I've uh, so I've gone through all the resource pools are uh, using the new system some of them are a bit less efficient because I have to do this bit more of a weird uh, bit of code instead not great oh well I'll get that fixed up in a moment though. So, so again, application, the resource pool, the templated function is gone. Replaced with uh, some generic ones. Probably same thing down here, yeah. It's about the same footprint, really. Mm -hmm. So we've got the new struct. Thing. I'm probably going to change where that is as well in a moment. The ref count, yeah, it's starts at zero. Type definitions, that's been updated, yes. Collision shape pool, yeah. Overall, the not much. Okay, and I've got this little weird thing going through these from iterating through. I can. This is a nice idea that I can do because I do have access to the struct lists, state lists, like the the actual raw lists. I'm just not entirely sure if it's worth it, as opposed to just kind of abstracting it behind the function, the more reusable function. I may uh, decide to do something a little bit 
different. Like have a function that you know does take and uh, return one, or one that returns multiple. Maybe I'm not sure. Hmm. Maybe later. Okay. Uh, this is see, and then again here, right? This is just uh, sending the pool through. When I could probably just be passing around, I can simplify this by not return throwing the pools about, but by actually you know sending the simulation set in like a handle almost, so that I can actually get rid of some of the complexity of the implementation of like graphics resource YAML. You won't have to know how it's structured in the back. I don't need to know that, not really. Hmm. And same thing here. Okay, so all this um, Okay, that's the next Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Okay, we haven't gotten rid of inheritance entirely quite yet. This is more like a halfway point, again, because I'm going back to core, simulation, core, here we go. This is still down here. I don't really, like, let me just check, like, oh man, uh, I'm throwing this stuff, this uh, type around. <sighs> almost everywhere. Dang. Okay. Um, this has got to be a multi-step thing. I can't. Uh, okay, so... Change resource pool... Uh, Dynamic cast um, type determination. Rather than relying on dynamic casts to Desired pools uh, has been C interface compatible. this uh, 
the reserve and then block. What what do I call it? Functionality IDs. Would you all resource pools share the same first member S type? Which uses the reserved enum blocks and functionality IDs to uniquely the pool type. So if I do that, I'll do that. Now, do I actually need pnext for resource pools? I'm thinking probably not, but I don't really want to make that determination quite yet. So I'm, I'm doing that. That's the first part. The next part is I need to go ahead and deal with this simulation stateless thing. This has got <clears throat> this has got to go. This is just not gonna work long term. I don't like it. I'd rather just pass this in than having like this other thing which is related but not really kind of happening. It's not 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 going to happen. So let's see, we've got this state lists. So this is gonna start breaking a bunch of things. Let's find out where shall we? Great states. Like, it's just passing the data around, which we don't need. So let's scrap that. Next. Actually, where are, what are the locations? Do we use this in many locations? The answer is no. So, that's, uh, so we've got that there. we got registration. Do we want that there? No. What we want to do is say on initialization, we need to change this to use this. Which is a const pointer for the moment. That makes sense. Yeah. Wait, it's only wait, what? On the initialization is already using that. And then we've got to do the same thing here for that. Hmm. Okay. And we can clear that out. So I'm just going to go around and start dealing with that here, here. So we've got this. Uninitialize that. So, <clears throat> how is this going to work? This is a resource loader, right? Okay. So it's not this, it's P simulation. <clears throat> so I need to say this dot so it's resource loaders data I believe and we got <clears throat> this and this by size and then we do the same thing again down here Deinitialize. Okay. I think. So we just do. Okay. Yeah. A few times. P. 
Sticky simulation. actually back this up a little bit. So we got that one. No. Leave that as it is. We're, we're, we start here. We're going to work our way down. Simulation state. P, uh, const star p simulation. See that? It's system, so we've got a simulation systems.data. Data and size. P iterator, P end iterator. So we got P simulation state, resource pools. Yeah, it makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it? that plus that size all right we need to go through component tools now This is I need to really <clears throat> simplify this. This is this is way too much. I I I have to admit that. Are not the initialized graphics? Oh,
Okay. Let's just scrap this entirely. So, just a few more locations. Resource loaders. No. Oh, this has got to be really boring. Only a few more locations. And one more set. Resource loaders and stuff. So this is resource pools, right? Okay. Um. 
Almost, almost there. into this trap again. Okay, that's all of those references. Let's see, no? Oh, I got a few items. Okay. Are there any bad locations? Seemingly not. So let's try build foe engine. Let's see for any 24, 24, and the usual stuff. So, slight simplification, removing, what was it? Originally intended. Passed around. Passed around instead. We'll be Compatible converted to a handle and passed around that way instead. In the near future instead. Okay. Slightly easier to deal with. So, <clears throat> if that's the case, then I can uh, go ahead and in those locations where I had searching for in the registrars, <clears throat> I should be able to get, let's close that up. Registrar here. Mm-hmm. P iterator. Where is mesh? So let's say, yeah, image pool and stuff. Let's... probably rework this now but I'm not sure if I should quite yet resources are done this way so what I would 
probably want to do instead is I'm just not entirely sure actually So especially here, you know, okay. Um, right, yeah, 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 here. This is the uh, interesting thing. So if, so if I change this to, let's say, auto that equals, because I am, I actually have this simulation state now, I can actually do this instead where I say, hey, you know, just this equals for simulations, get resource pool for the P simulation state. And I pass it in this. then shrinks this down to that a bit easier. So we go to the shader pool down here. I need to, do I need to do this? Do I need to count initialization here? The answer is no. I really wouldn't also need to do it for this. I don't need our init count either. I really need just a reference count. If initialization is, yeah. So these are the loaders again, so that's fine. So I need to find like armature pool, like down here. Yeah. Oh, no, not quite yet. Haven't done that one yet. I need to work on this still. So where's the other registrar, shall we? Resource loader. On create, okay. On destroy, on initialize, the armature loader is not really looking for the pool, are we? No. Physics. Physics. Okay, yeah, here we go. Physics. Go down to here, the registrar down here. Let's have a look. We have an armature pool. This is now, yeah, we're using that state, so that's good. I can use this.
Now this may be more efficient, but again, like I'm just copy pasting code around. And I should not do that. Initialize graphics. Nothing to do with pools. Okay. Okay. So with those. I'm unsure as to how many locations will still be using, let's say, this. This name is still probably everywhere, right? Like here. Yeah. Where do I call this? Export shader. Um, deregister resource function takes in pool base count and the resource ID hmm because it is a generic function yeah so I'd have to change these out to be taking simulation uh, state instead so be the resource ID simulation state and that's it then they can internally use that function okay what about here vector of pools import resource definitions okay what's this about okay I'm just passing it in. Is that it? Again, this is something I could definitely replace with the simulation state. Are there any other locations of real interest? Otherwise, I'll start working on that next. Because it just never ends. No, I think that's basically it. Hmm. Okay, so then the real big question then becomes if that's the case if that really is the case do I really do I have any need for pnex right now no none at all not for this so what I'm thinking of okay that was a dead end so let's I've reset everything that was a terrible dead end let's not do that Half an hour gone. Um, right. Okay. So, moving forward. I mean, I do want to replace... Move around the struct. Like the core uh, struct around. So, let's go back to that. Just so, in case I don't have this in the video... Ah, yeah, this is still here. So this, I'm not going to move this. I'm not going to put change uh, the inheritance quite yet because there are a number of locations that use it directly for things like this right here. This, I shouldn't be, yeah, I, sh I really should not be doing this. This should exist. Hmm. This is being used where? This is being used as a try to register this. So what I want to do is this needs to be changed around from that to like, you know, go 
simulation state const star. So rather than passing in uh, an array of these, I'm just going to pass that in, and then you can use the, the good old-fashioned function to grab out the pool you want from the one thing. So the simulation state is already there. Pool resource base is going away. That's great. We go down to this side. So we got that. P simulation state. So we got that. We're going to go with, you know, auto this equals this, where we say, hey, you know, um, foe simulation state get resource pool of P simulation state of specifically this type is the one we're looking for. If what we want to do is remove this, we want to say if this not if this not equal no pointer. Oh, if like that. If that, yeah. And we've got to do the same thing for the others. So, change that. Change that. So, again, this is a simplification. Make things a little bit easier, a bit more robust. Or at least that's the idea. So we have the material pool of that, of this type. Close that up. So we've got to go down to this if, whoops, missing one. If that not equal null pointer. that yeah like that this type okay this is all that's gone that's gone that's gone Oh, this actually had the completely wrong type. Or... Hmm. Oh, this is exporting. That's why I, I never actually ran into this problem. Yeah. I don't know why I have twos in here. I shouldn't have twos in here. Two, 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 two. Things are down. Great. 
Uh, that should leave me a couple other locations. So these pool locations that I expect. This needs to be changed as well. So I need to find the register resource functions. Go into that. <sighs> resource import functions. Where we have this, this needs to be changed. Resource create info base to instead be just foe. We want to change this to so just pass that in and we'll figure out that ourselves. Not entirely sure on this one yet. But I do know how to do this one. Maybe? Yeah. So let's go back to, where was it? This, this is changed, that's correct. This should not be changed quite yet. So we got that one, we want to do similar to here, except it's the mesh type, or sorry, material. register resource function so the create function is indeed supposed to use select that okay Okay, that's a number of locations. There'll be some others somewhere that will fail pretty quick. 
right here. So in the importer, we're going to be passing through um, simulation state. So this needs to pull in this. That, okay. So it's just passing that in, that's just passing that in. Or it should be anyways. Yeah. Oh, dot get. I should get rid of a number of locations, which we're using the base type directly, which don't want to do. Passing that through, okay. So we get to this part. Faux simulation state. So now we have to deal with this. So what happens? Resource pool base is going away. Passing that around instead. Attempt to render resources associated with the ID. Resource entity elements. Yeah, okay, so phone. So rolling back up to here, we now have to Okay, well You'll get the idea, so I'll kind of stop repeating this on the YouTube video for a little while, but I'll keep streaming it in the meantime. But it's just gonna be more and more of this replacing my poor previous decision, so yeah. Okay. So I got them all except I'm missing two references now. Come on. All right, almost there. So which do I just not have let's say I have this here. Exporter. Importer. 
Is it just because it's a different... Um, is that it? I was expecting that and... Uh, as part of that, it's going into this. Which G resource functions, which are all the way up here. Means I gotta go back down here, pass through sim state just by itself. Need to find this. What is going on? How ridiculous am I? And what, I'm just passing this straight through, right? Yeah, so I don't even need these two, I just need this. Going all the way back down here. There, finally. Now, all those conversions, is it broken? The answer is not obviously. Is it perhaps a little bit less differently broken? Like do we have a memory leak of some sort? No, we do not. Perfect. <clears throat> so I got rid of a whole bunch of use cases of this base class type directly. So all that's left are the declarations in use for the pool in the pools themselves importer base do i need it here no i do not it's gone do i need it here nope it's gone uses part of that uses part of that uses part of that that that's fine this is still used for that okay i'll leave that one there that's there, use there, and this is here for what? Do I even use this? No. And this function's gone. Okay. Bunch of stuff is cleaned up. Okay, now one thing I'm looking at for the registration for on the graphics resource side, let's open that as a file and close all the others and bring that back down to the side, is, okay, so I'm using this, like each of these is individual, can I reuse, I could reuse the variant members, but do I really care to, the answer is no. No, not at all, I'll just leave it like that. Yeah. So we'll just kind of do this. We'll remove direct use of, what was it, foe. If simulation work. was passed around was all these being derived directly from the from the itself to simplify things it 
this type is being removed. And instead, the simulation state is being passed around directly instead with the use data being extracted through some simple casted functions instead with the resource data retrieved through a single simple function instead which it is okay so one more part of this and then I got on 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 the resources let alone doing this for the the, the systems and the loaders and the components yeah yay which I'll probably do offline because it's just more of the same of this stuff just con uh, just changing things around and I'll probably do a quick summary at the start of the next one because it's just going to be a couple more hours of this but going down to simulation core oh simulation come on come on come on, come on. where where am I come on Fo simulation do 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 core pool. Okay, this thing doesn't have to be here for one. It could be part of this, I guess. Or this maybe. I'm not I'm not mm, not sure where to put it. I'll put it here for the moment. Include C standard depth for the uh, size T. So that means this is gone. Great. This resource functions, okay. Registration function templates, this is still around. Loader, search and destroy, DNA, DNA graphics, yeah, okay. Struct CPP, this is no longer here. We're just changing this down at type depths, which we already have. here 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 and here and here shader pool sure it works um, do the tests work still yes they do that's great actually hold on Okay, that's one part, I guess. The second part, though, is the fact that it should actually just be removed entirely. Like, this should be part of this, right? Mm. 
faux resource pool base. Uh, yeah. Hmm. All right. So what I want to do um I mean do I really Yeah, okay. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I want to do is I'm going to merge in the resource pool base into these actual types themselves. Starting with, like, do I want to do that or probably not? I need to do this is always private. I mean, I can't, I don't want to use inheritance though. Right now, am I even using inheritance? The answer is no. What I want to do. Uh, I want to change over to basically a handle based system. I really do. With with free floating functions and stuff. But I can't really I just can't really. So I've already been on long enough by now, yeah. So I think I'll leave it here. Where I have the resource pool base mostly shifted over, except for actually removing the inheritance itself. So, like, all this is in service of removing the inheritance, but I didn't actually get around to doing that part quite yet. But, offline, or, well, at least not on YouTube, I'll do the same thing on the loaders, on the resources themselves, and on the components, and systems, I think. Or, maybe I'll do it on YouTube, I don't know. Mm, no, because it's basically more of the same thing. Just me converting a whole bunch of things to use to pull straight from the simulation state itself. So, yeah. That's it for now. So, uh, until next time, cheers.